A day has passed in the last five months when Democrats in Washington haven't reminded the rest of us that Donald Trump is colluding with Vladimir Putin. The two are best friends, we've been told, business partners, co-conspirators who together have undermined our democracy and threatened the national security of the United States. It's not just Democrats who've alleged all this, but a number of Republican senators, too, some on this show. What nobody seems to have done is to listen carefully to what the Russians are saying about Trump. So here's some, for example. This is Putin's hand-picked mouthpiece, his state news anchor Dmitry Kislyov, yesterday on his broadcast. Quote, the world is a hair's breadth away from nuclear war, he said. War can break out as a result of confrontations between two personalities, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Both are dangerous, but who is more dangerous? Trump is. End quote. So Trump is a greater threat to the world than North Korea. That does not sound like something best friends say about each other very often. Could it be time for official Washington to admit that their cherished Russia theories, the basis of so many overheated press releases and congressional hearings and cable news shows, might be wrong? In fact, completely absurd and disproved by reality on the ground. Don't hold your breath for that admission, though. By tomorrow, they'll be explaining how this is just more evidence of the vastness of the conspiracy. And, of course, we'll cover that.